Hello guys, how are you? Uh, today we have... Um, I was reviewing airplanes, airplanes, airplanes and I didn't... Well, you know, I'm not much of an armor guy but... Uh, and I'm sorry to say armor guy, uh, I have to stop and saying this shit. There are not plain guys, armor guys. Lately I've been thinking why the hell are we just separating things, we're modelers. We're not... We're modelers who specialized and like armor or like more planes or like... So, okay, I'm not an mo armor modeler per se. Um, but when I want to relax a little bit, I like to assemble those uh, old Tamiya kits. They're not as detailed as this one, but um, you can get a very good result and they are fun to build. Totally fun. They are all about gluing, painting and weathering. And when it comes to weathering, it's a lot of fun. So, today I bring you the Dragon Panzer Kampfwagen 4 Ausfahren E. This is a 3 in 1 edition. Uh, it has photo etch parts and some additions for your diorama if you want to do one. So, let's see what's in this box, okay? Top opener with the usual Dragon schematics and computer generated images not bad this box art don't you think <coughs> some more okay this is a 2005 kit by the way one thirty fifth scale obviously uh, I already opened this one obviously I some some of them I didn't open but um, when it comes to armor I like to see the pieces you know <laughs> all the all those and uh, well look at this detail here Okay. On this one, I am sorry, I am lacking on uh, <clears throat> vocabulary. Okay, upper hole, lower hole, the turret, but um, these are the benders. I don't know, you know. But level of detail on this one is very good. Some accessories, shovels, you know, <clears throat> those tools that uh, they usually have. Again, no flash. No flash at all. Well, these are not... Uh, <laughs> It's fun because this is a lot of pieces, you know. Um, I wanted to see how many uh, pieces this kit has, but I believe it is around here somewhere. Um, but I cannot find it now. I'm sorry. But as I when I upload this video I will place the number of pieces in the, in the observations down again I'm sorry I'm no pro doing a rebox or an outbox like I call it but look at this good detail don't you think Look at this. 
and it's plastic so this is styrene some jerry cans the usual stuff <clears throat> on this one Pete Ian uh, 757 Pete taught me that um, when it came to water they placed some water on jerry cans also uh, they marked the jerry can with a, a white X so they would know that that one was water obviously you don't want to fuel your tank with water or drink some benzene right Look at this level, if uh, the camera can show to you, look at this level of detail here, look at this. And these parts here is tremendous. It's just tremendous. These are like Freddy call it, like Freddy says, it's almost plastic photo edge. So, all the wheels and wheel mechanisms and suspenders, the suspension here, you can actually have, you have to assemble the suspension. And this is not the smart kit. I actually have the smart kit uh, on this one. I will do a, a another inbox review on this one, uh, but on the smart kit, and you will see the interior. It's wow. Okay, turret. Some turret pieces here. to my attention is the level of detail um, like this texture here of the you can see it can you see it the hull I will find out why, probably different versions, but this one brings uh, two lower hulls. I just found out that I have two lower hulls on this one. <clears throat> okay. The turret cover, the upper side of the turret. Some small turret pieces, antennas, and <coughs> these air filters that are actually opened. I like that. I like that. And the cherry on the top of the cake some brass um, ammunitions here is the the nozzle of the muzzle of the, of the cannon cannon metal some brazen pieces which have very good very good detail in it the usual magic tracks oh man 
These are a pain in my butt too. But, well, they have to be done, right? And they are much better than the vinyl ones. Uh, I have to admit that, but this is a labor of love to fill these ones. And some wheels, photo edge detail, uh, some cactus here for the diorama if you want to place it. <coughs> some photo edge for the wheels, you know. And um, usual, uh, the usual stuff from uh, Dragon. The instructions book. Well. I hope you can, I think you can, cannot do this on a weekend. Eh? <laughs> and the general, which I think it's Hans Guderian. It brings a, um, an image of fo a figure of Hans Guderian also. Here it is. And all the versions you can paint on these ones here. So here this is an expensive kit. Um, I bought it on <laughs> I bought it on an auction. Curiously, I it wasn't expensive for me because I, I had I I had the luck to bid and no one, not even the owner, um, which is common practice, to pull the the, the pretender up to the kit a little bit further on the price. He didn't he didn't even bid on it, and I bought this one. For um, 25 pounds plus shipping, the shipping was actually almost uh, almost as expensive as so the kit was just on the is right price if I bought it here. But well, this one here is very cool. Um, actually, this is not the place for it, but. The one I was talking about, it's this one. This is a smart kit. This has the interior on. It has everything that this one has, that this one has, plus the interior. And this one, but this one brings, yeah, something that I like better. It's the vinyl tracks, you know, but you can actually buy some um, magic tracks or metal ones, but I'm not a fan of extra, you know. And uh, the box art, it's awesome on this one, don't you think? I love Panzers. I just love Panzers. Well, guys. This is my simple and humble review of the Panzer Kampfwagen 4 Ausfahren E 3-in-1 kit by Dragon on the 135th scale. Uh, sorry, it was not a very <laughs> pro in box review, but uh, it's just it's just my view on things. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching, and uh, as always. Keep mulling, okay? Don't stop mulling.